guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm going to do my weekly reading update for July 15th, 2018. So this week was an interesting week. I started out really strong and uh, I think yesterday I pretty much had kind of a reading crisis. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I do want to um, kind of, normally I go through what I read that week, this week and then what I'm currently reading and what I hope to read in the next week. But, um, oops, so I did want to, um, of course, the, I hate my tablet. Did I tell you that? You know, I, I've had this for a couple of years. I bought it kind of cheap, I admit it, but, you know, when Amazon had a sale at some point, and I got one of the Kindle Fires, and I thought, oh, I'll get away with it, and I'll be fine. And it's been okay for a while. It just drives me crazy whenever I want to do this, and I just, it doesn't want to do what I want to do. Anyway, so normally I go through what I've read this last week, and all this stuff, but I forgot last week a book, and I know why I forgot. And if you saw my reading vlog from the first week of July, you'll see that I missed a book, and that was West by Carrie's Davies. I know my glare, but anyway. Um, so this was uh, a book that I did not enjoy. Um, actually, it's so funny, because I've been watching a lot of the, you know, mid-year, um, you know, favorite books so far this year, and so many people that yeah, I watch consistently, I don't always agree with them, which is, you know, you, that's how it works. But they are all like raving about this book and I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, um, so this has to do with Cy Bellman who decides kind of that he's going to go look for huge creatures that they found bones in Kentucky and he thinks he's going to go out west and find them. And this is in the early 1800s. And he leaves his 10 year old daughter with his sister and in, I think Pennsylvania and then go out there. I think it's Pennsylvania. It's one of the, <laughs> somewhere around there. Anyway, then he goes off and he spends two years trying to find these, uh, these creatures, which I think that part is interesting. Like that was not my problem with the story. It was kind of like his midlife crisis and he, um, went to do that. Um, I think this book was super short. I think it was very concise. So if you like that kind of writing and don't need a lot of extras, like you have to kind of figure a few things out just without uh, being told, that's great. I'm, I know short stories are written like that all the time, but there's a reason why I don't get along with short stories is that I always feel like I'm missing part of the story. I feel like there's stuff missing. There was some good descriptions, very concise ones, and, and it got you through to get the um, area where he was at or where, you know, like things were going on. It wasn't like I, I didn't feel like it was super deprived. I'm not, I guess I'm not trying to say that. Um, but mostly I just didn't like the story. Um, I think it's mostly my biggest deal again was the fact that he left his 10 year old daughter for a couple years to go do this stupid thing anyway. And then uh, um, he um, has a Native American who helps him, um, a, a, a young man and uh for two almost i think it's like almost two years they travel together but they still can't communicate with each other beyond hand gestures and you know that like they <laughs> like two years you don't learn each other's language just a little bit just to get by i don't know it was it didn't make any sense to me and then again i had real issues with the young girl um her what she had to deal with because she was like 12 and she had two guys after her and i'm just like old man and i'm like Ugh. Okay, that probably was bad. But the point is, is that I don't, and I, 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 I finished, made myself finish this book. I had started it, I think three weeks ago or something, because it's a library book. And then I waited a week. Once I got to it, after a certain point, I just stopped and I go, okay, well, either I'm going to read it or continue. And I, um, spoiled myself and <laughs> I went and read it. So, um, the end, um, I liked the way it ended. Actually, that was probably... I guess it's okay. I mean, now that I think about it more, I, I think the ending was what I wanted. Um, I just, I didn't like the book. Anyway, so there's that. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, cause I really disliked that book and everybody's raving about it. And again, I've realized that, I mean, I always knew this, but you know, you come to that realization again that when even though everybody's raving about a certain book, I might not like it because it has a trope or it has something going on that I do not enjoy. And again, this one's problem was it was too short and too concise. And I do like concise writing. I just, I like more still. I still need more. And it just wasn't enough for me. I just didn't care enough about the characters 
uh, by the, you know, by middle to end, you know, so anyway, so now that I've wasted way too much time on that, let's talk about the books I did read this week. So I, uh, on Sunday of last week, I talked about, I was reading The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I loved this book. This was awesome. I finished it Sunday. I actually did read the last 160 pages that day. I just couldn't put it down and I just, I really, really enjoyed it. And, uh, um, I still think The Women in White I like just slightly better, but this was definitely a five-star read. It wasn't like it was uh, not. It was, I'm so excited to read more of his books. Of course, as I said, I think I have four of them on my shelf. I have one more in the mail, and I think I have four more that are on my wish list <laughs> that I know of. So um, anyway, I'm not sure where I'm going to go next with what book, but I'm definitely going to pick up one uh, in uh, October for Victober. I'm pretty sure there's no way I'm gonna get away with not reading one of his. So this is technically one of the first detective novels. There's some uh, debate on, I think he's like really the second, but it's still um, for a novel. Like I guess there's some short stories that were before that had kind of detectives in it, but like this is the, one of the one of the first um, novels that had a, a detective character. And I found it very interesting um, some of the characteristics of what he did that reminded me of Sherlock Holmes, which was written 20 years after this. So um, I just, it was a really great story about this uh, stone, moonstone that was stolen from India and then how um, it's cursed, so, supposedly, and then who, and then it's the mystery of how it got um, stolen when it was passed to uh, the next owner. Um, and it was, it went in so, as I said, he writes so good in the way that I never know where this is going. Like, I have not a clue, um, what direction it's going to go in. And it came around and I was just, I was surprised about how it all came together. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, as I said, I, I, I I'm definitely going to read more of him and I definitely recommend him. I think he is a lot easier to get into from, for some of the Victorian novelists that I've read. I mean, again, I love Victorian literature, but I'm just saying he's one of the easiest ones to just fall into. Uh, I just think he writes his characters really well and the settings. And then again, I like the ones with the mystery in them. So that, those are pretty cool. So that was, um, the last book I finished for Tome Topple. Now I, was ambitious and I thought I'd get three done, but I finished that on Sunday. So I thought, okay, I have four days left. I can probably read another one. No, I, I was pretty much burnt out by that point, but I just didn't know it. But I did pick up Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And um, this is a science fiction novel uh, about um, uh, Earth is pretty much destroyed and they had uh, germinated a planet to be a new Earth kind of thing and uh, uh, start life and uh it all goes wrong in the first couple pages and then it's centuries later when um the inhabitants of earth who you know their their earth is destroyed so they come to this planet and want to um get on there but the um the old uh technology is guarding the planet from them and on the planet instead of monkeys developing which was the plan uh the creatures uh, that are affected are mostly spiders and ants and other uh, smaller creatures that grow really big. Like the spiders, at least so far, are really big. They're cool. I now know why everybody talks about them. That's it's awesome. This the the it's a super cool um, alien landscape. Like as in how they deal with things and how their develop, development go. I actually like them better than the human crew. <laughs> So as I said, I'm only about halfway, I'm just under halfway, but I'm reading this super slow. I'm just not picking it up. I just feel like I think I've read too many long books in a row and I still like this. It's not that I'm not going to finish this. I just think I'm going to be going, not reading as fast. Now my averages for how many pages per day were super high during Tome Topple. So I was, um, I figured out that I had read uh, on average 115 pages a day and for me that is really good as I said my goal is 50 pages a day so the fact that I read for 14 days and it averages out to 115 which means I just got over 1600 uh, pages uh, for the 14 days I thought it was pretty good and again I read not just Tome Topple books, I read some other books too um, in the middle there so I um, as I said I'm, I'm going to continue with this it's just um, 
<laughs> it's just, it might take me all week. I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm in a weird mood. I'm not sure I'm going to want to pick it up today. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. I'm hoping once I pick it up, I'm fine. It's the picking it up that's the problem right now for me on that book. And I don't, I think it's because I know that I have over 300 pages more to go. I don't know. It's like that little mental thing. I don't know. So I'm going to try to get, I would like to get, try to get past the halfway point today. I mean, at least get my 50 pages in for that. And then maybe I'll... I'll, I'll read more. I don't know. It just, is this that I get into it? Oh, we'll see. Um, I'm also making good progress on On the Map by Simon Garfield. This is a nonfiction about maps and I am really enjoying this. It's just such a slog because it's, you know, it's technical sometimes. Not like technical as in, that's not the word I wanted to use. It's just, there's a lot of information on maps and a lot of name dropping and uh, countries and things. And it's, it's interesting. I really do enjoy it. Um, I had tabbed out the very end um, earlier this week so that I would try to read um, at least 17 pages every day so that I could finish in 10 days. And I think I have four sections left because I read, uh, no, maybe I have five sections. Uh, yeah, I have five sections. Whoops. So I've done five sections of the 10. So um, I'm about halfway for the, till the, so I have about, what did I say? I had a, I have 90 pages left of this book. So um, I'm hoping to finish it out this week and be done. As I said, I'll either read a section or two today and Every day I'll read at least one to just try to get done. And again, I just want to get through this because I have other map books that I uh, had scheduled to read this year and I haven't got to. And uh, I, that one's taken me since February and I just want to be done with it. Um, I also am listening in my car to The Power of Habit, uh, Why We Do What We Do in Life of Business by Charles Doogie. I think is how I said. Um, anyway, I am really enjoying this book. This book is has been fantastic. I... I can see why this is, a lot of people have this on their list of um, really good nonfiction books. And this, uh, it's very fascinating. They're, his examples are really good most, you know, or most of the time. There's only like one or two I was like, oh, I don't know about that. Um, but most of them are really good examples of um, habits and how, and then he talks about people's habits and then company habits, habits. And then um, he's, I think the end part's going to be society. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this out. I, I'm, I'm over halfway. I'm probably about, I would say about 60% right now. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm figuring I'm going to finish it, um, on my commute, uh, to and from work, uh, this week, but, um, we'll see. Hopefully, um, I'm, as I said, I'm really enjoying that. I'm glad I'm getting, as I said, with those nonfiction, I'm getting back into getting some of my nonfiction because I kind of dropped the ball on that for a little while. And then uh, yesterday I was with my family and or my parents and we had to stop somewhere for my dad to do something for work and uh we were sitting in the car for like 40 minutes so instead of playing a game on my phone i just uh opened up an ebook that i had and i just started reading uh cherish hard by nalini singh again one of my favorite authors this is her contemporary series this is actually the second one kind of offshoots from the rock kiss ones so this is the rock hard hard play hard play oh gosh darn it i can never remember the names anyway so the point is this is the first one in that series. And, um, I started reading this. I've read about 130 pages out of like 360 and, um, I like it. It's just not, I'm not used to her. I mean, again, she writes a few contemporaries, but not very many. And I'm usually so used to her other paranormal romances, which is action and the world building is just phenomenal. And it's always hard for me to read some contemporaries. So I don't know if this is the greatest picked, even though I read quite a bit of it. I do like her writing and I do like the story, there's just, I stopped last night at a scene where I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go. I, but again, that's a contemporary problem. <laughs> like things I have that are like too close to real life. You go, why would you do that? I like fantasy a lot too. So anyway, that's kind of all I'm at. I have no idea how this week is going to go for reading since I'm feeling kind of weird today. I'm hoping uh, to finish out um, the power habit for sure, hopefully in my car and uh get through the end of On the Map, and then hopefully finish Children of Time. Um, I don't want to plan too far beyond that because I'm hoping that I get all these books. I don't, I'm not used to having partial books, and I just have so many right now. I have four, and that's just not normal for me, and I don't like the feeling of it, really. It's not, not the way I like to read. So hopefully I'm going to knock a few of them off this week, at least, and get back down to one or two um, again. So I don't mind having an audiobook and a 
and a physical book is just when I have three physical or two physical books, an ebook, and an audiobook, I just ah, there's it's not that I get anything mixed up because clearly they're all very different and I've never had that problem with distinguishing. It's just more I like to focus on one and get something done. So anyway, so how is your guys reading? <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, we're gonna have to see how this goes this next week. Um, I am vlogging, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. So I think that's it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.